call option comes under exchange traded derivative contract wherein it gives the right to buy okay right to buy the underlying asset right to buy the underlying asset on the expiry date as per the agreed amount as per the agreed amount okay so let's let's have an example to understand this let's say there is x there is y so x believes that the price will go up he he wants to buy this call option so he uh, he is called as the holder okay why he is called as the holder because he is holding the right to buy the underlying asset holder so he has the right to buy okay y is called as the writer and y as the obligation okay obligation to sell when will he buy when he believes that the price will shoot up beyond at the price he is agreed he has agreed for say for example let's say they both are entering into the contract wherein x says that he is willing to buy at the rate of 1000 on the day of expiry okay so typically in india last thursday of the month is considered as the expiry date so there is one expiry date last thursday so let's say last thursday is 25th so 25th is the expiry date okay so today they are entering into a contract wherein x agrees to buy uh, for uh, for for 1000 rupees so x agrees to buy for 1000 rupees so now what we have to remember is like you know rights doesn't come free of charge okay and writer is not going to take all the risk here all the risk is being taken by the writer who is the obligation to sell so rights doesn't come free of charge so as soon as holder enter in, enters into the contract he is supposed to pay an amount to uh, y technically it is called as premium okay it is called as premium let's say in this case he is paying uh, let's say 10 rupees as premium so now on the day of expiry imagine the price goes to 1020 so the price has gone to 1020 however x has the right to buy at 1000 so what will he do he will execute the contract at 1000 and he will get 20 rupees profit over here and he has paid 10 as premium so remaining will be net profit will be net profit will be 20 minus 10 this 10 is the premium so his net profit will be 10 okay suppose if it goes to 1015 so in that case it is 15 and then 10 is the premium so net profit will be 5 suppose if it goes to 1010 so in that case he makes 10 profit over here but then however he also paid 10 as premium so no profit no loss for him which is called as break even point so the formula for break even point is strike price so what is strike price this this 1000 is called as strike price the price at which both the parties have agreed to buy and sell so strike price which is also called as exercise price okay this is called as the spot price okay the actual price in the market okay so strike price plus premium is equal to strike price is 1000 plus premium is 10 so 1010 is the break even point so at this price neither the holder will get any profit nor the writer will get any profit okay so here right to buy so writer is bullish okay and sorry the the holder is bullish and writer is bearish he believes that the price will come down 
okay so this is how it works so in case if the price if the spot price is not 1010 imagine if the spot price is lower than the strike price okay so if it comes to somewhere around let's say 999 so what will the holder do the holder has the right to buy so it is his choice to buy or not to buy so what he will do in this case is because the price is 999 prevailing in the market why should he buy it for 1000 so he will not execute this contract so in that case what will be his maximum loss his loss will be only 10 10 what will you do he will again not execute the contract because it is available at 990 in the market why should he buy it for 1000 okay so his loss will be 10 see this amount the premium paid by the holder to the writer uh, he cannot take it back so this is the maximum loss that the holder can have uh, in, in in an option okay so no matter how far the price goes down so the holder will not execute it and this 10 rupees will be his uh, loss whereas if it goes very high thousand and you know thousand one hundred so in this case he will execute it okay if, if the price goes beyond the strike price he will execute it and uh, so in this case hundred and then 10 rupees uh, premium so net profit will be 90 suppose is uh, suppose the spot price is 1001 so will he execute in this uh, at this time uh, he will why because here he is getting a profit of 1 and he has paid uh, premium of 10 so his net uh, profit and loss will be minus 9 he will incur loss of 9 okay so 1010 is the break even point so if it goes beyond 1010 uh, the net profit uh, holder will incur if it is less than uh, 1010 if it is between 1010 to 1000 uh, his his losses will be coming down and uh, less than 1000 he will not execute the contract and he will let his premium uh, you know to go as his loss thank you